statement, and then we'll take questions. Just raise your hand, and I'll call on you. Uh, obviously disappointed in uh, in the outcome of the football game. Uh, credit to uh, to Georgia. Um, they won critical plays. They played clean early in the football game. Uh, offensively, you know, early in the football game, the, the false starts, the uh, communication issues, um, you know, hurt us and. and uh, you know, defensively, uh, didn't play well in, in the early part of the game after the, the first series, and, and uh, but then got our footing and, and did some good things on, on the back end of it. All in all, just critical plays, critical opportunities. Uh, you know, when you're on the plus side of the 50, uh, we didn't win any of those, and, and uh, you know, that's a, a credit to, to them and, uh, and some things that obviously we got to be better at too. Questions will start with David. <coughs> Josh, can you just talk about the impact that that 75-yard in the first half had? Well, uh, end of the day, we first run uh, gains up positive yards. Um, you're backed up, uh, you know, and, and then uh, you know, second down, we don't get anything out of it. Uh, sack, um, obviously, you know, changes the way the game's played and, and momentum swing. And, and uh, it was a big play in the football game, obviously. But in this game, you're going to have to reset. You're going to have to come back. You're going to have to make plays. And, and at the end of the day, we didn't do enough things early in the football game to be able to apply any type of pressure uh, to them. Joe Rexrode and then Austin Price. Josh, did you do anything defensively that you didn't anticipate? Was Hendon used at times by certain looks? Uh, no, there were some things that showed up uh, from their tape um, that uh, appeared more often. Um, you know, we had anticipated seeing, uh, you know, a bunch of different looks from them throughout the course of the football game. Uh, protectionally, uh, there in the, uh, the third quarter, there was a couple of things that we didn't communicate uh, very well. Uh, I didn't think all in all we handled the, uh, the noise uh, very well. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's false starts. Uh, it's being in sync communication up front. Um, at the end of the day, that, that hurt us, uh, certainly early in the football game and then uh, at times throughout the course of it. Uh, I, I thought, you know, there's uh, when it looked the way that it did tonight at times where you're, you're struggling and not efficient, not playing ahead, there's times the guys were winning. Uh, we came off it too early. There were times that we didn't win. There were protection issues, um, you know, miscommunication. So you put a little bit of any of those things together and, and uh, you're not efficient, not able to play ahead, not uh, able to play with any tempo. And, and uh, you know, again, um, that's part us, but um, part them too. Patrick denied. Coach, I think you guys only have one pass play 20 yards and the guys have been so good on big plays. Were they sitting two safeties and they just run outside? Why were they able to keep the guys? Um, you know, at, at certain points they were able to play uh, two high safeties, uh, certainly in their structure. Uh, there were opportunities that we had down the football field too. And tonight we didn't connect um, early with Jalen uh, down the middle of the football field. And certainly opportunities throughout the course of it over the middle of the field. And then uh, late in the football game too down the sideline. So, um, you know, th there's a lot of things that we'll look back on that uh, we have to be better in um, when you're going to play a good football team like this. Josh, uh, you said you had to handle the noise better. Is that, I mean, that was as loud as I've ever been anywhere. Is that something you can't do until you've experienced it? I mean, how, what do you do? Uh, there's things that we have done uh, to, to handle it and uh, to be way more efficient than we were tonight. Um, there's things that, uh, that we'll learn from uh, tonight, but, uh, you know, as a program, um, you got to understand what you're getting yourself into and, and the atmosphere and, and the energy and the focus that you're going to get uh, from everybody, you know, not just their, their program, but from their fans too. And, and we, uh, you heard me say it early, uh, the emotional part of the football game had to be able to settle into it early in the game. Uh, we did not do that in, in a positive way. And, and uh, you know, it's an opportunity for us to learn. We'll be better. Uh, we can be a whole lot better. We've handled it at times really well. Um, you know, our, our guys will be, be right when they get back in the bill, and we'll get better. West and Adam. In terms of at halftime there, you know, there's so many things that didn't go right there, but y'all done enough to hang in there. What was the message at halftime? It's kind of like, all right, that's a punch. Yeah, you know, we talked all week long. It starts fast, great. If it doesn't, that's all right too. No matter how it starts, you got to continue to compete. Um, the ability to refocus, uh, reset, and, and come out and go play the next half. Um, you know, offensively had the football, needed to go do something with it. Uh, defensively, get a couple stops and, uh, you know, try to close the gap and make it a tight football game at the end. And, and uh, weren't able to do enough of that. Obviously, your goals are still. 
Well, <laughs> getting to Atlanta is a whole lot tougher now, right? You know, uh, I certainly. Um, you know, that's the number one goal inside of our program. Yeah, uh, our kids have handled a, a bunch of adversity throughout their careers inside of this program. Uh, you know, they've continued to fight and, and scratch and claw and, and uh, be connected, come together. And there's no doubt in my mind when we get back in the building on, on Monday that they'll continue to, to do that. And, um, you know, that's how we got to the point of making this a big football game. Uh, we got to go reset and continue to grow uh, individually and collectively as a program. Everybody's got a hand in this, uh, starting with me, our staff, and and, uh, and our players, and learn and grow and, and uh, continue to climb as a program. Adam, yeah. on that note, there were mistakes to not leave the scene the guys make all year. Are you convinced that those mistakes only happen against this team in this setting? Um. <laughs> They can happen at any time if you're not invested, um, you know, prepared. Um, you're not in, in control of your emotions, and, and uh, you're playing, you know, your best brand of football. Um, it certainly reared its head tonight, early in the football game, for sure. And, and at times throughout the course of it, um, these guys are resilient. These guys are competitors. These guys uh, have a great amount of pride. Uh, you know, we'll reset and and. Uh, you know, we got to this point by focusing on, on one game at a time. And, and uh, you know, for us, um, hate the way that this one turned out for sure. Uh, everybody hurts inside of that locker room. Uh, we got to reset and, and get back to work on Monday. Josh, what does this say about your program right now? They can do this losing 15 draft choices, <coughs> five guys. Yeah, sure. Uh, they got, you know, I mean, they've been recruiting at a really high level for a really long time. Uh, next man's up for them. Um, you know, they're a deep football team for sure. Austin. Message to the team after the game and, and, and sort of like getting back in there. I mean, is this one of those things where you just, you know, I can't wait to get the next Saturday and just kind of watch it? Well, I'll be, be real about what happened tonight. You know what I mean? And the energy and, and uh, I'll, you know, the type of environment and competitive arena that you're in. Um, you know, as a program on the road. Right, like we got to grow and be able to handle that in a, in a much better way than we did uh, tonight. And it's not that our guys didn't prepare prepare well, um, but just you know, being within ourselves during the early part of the game in particular to to change the way the game plays and and uh, um, <clears throat> learn from that. Understand what that's going to be like here as we continue to grow as as a program and, and have more of these opportunities to play in uh, these types of, of ball games. Um, be real about you know what we all need to do better, coaches and, and players. Um, at the same time, uh, understand we're a good football team. And, uh, you know, it didn't happen tonight on, on the 60-minute clock. Um, that's the great thing about sports is, is you only get one opportunity, man. And, uh, um, you know, reset and, and let's come back to work. Patrick, Coach, you, you said the team didn't settle. You talked all season about how the team has been resilient. They just keep playing. What did, what did you see from them on the sideline? Did you see them? They didn't, they, didn't stop, they didn't stop playing. They didn't stop competing. <laughs> you know, um, we didn't do the things. <laughs> You know, I mean, we got the ball on the plus side of the territory, and inevitably something goes wrong. And it's not all ten, uh, all eleven at one time. You know, what I mean, it's one guy, and, and uh, you can't do the, that against a good football team. And, and uh, we did not play <clears throat> our cleanest, best football. Part of that, them, that's a really good football team too. Um, you know, but there's things that we can control and, and be a whole lot better into. And, and uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, I hate the outcome. Everybody in our program does. Um, we got to reset and, and continue to go go fight. Just in terms of demeanor, I mean, on the side, <coughs> you see anything different just throughout the course of the game? Uh, in the early part of the game, uh, I just – were we the best version of us? No, uh, we weren't. And that's why you see the things that happen early in the football game happen. You know what I mean? False starts out on the perimeter, right? And miscommunication up front and protections, false starts up front. Like, you can't do that in, in, against a really good football team. Right, you, you just can't do that, and, and uh, you know, so we changed the way the game was played in, in a negative way early, and we did that in all three phases. You know what I mean? So, all right, thank you, coach. All right, appreciate it, guys. We'll have, have a great night. Up here shortly, we'll do them up here.